What's up guys, Jacob Owens here for the Buff Nerds and today I'm going to get right into showing you how you can get a faded vintage look on your videos. So recently I did this wedding film for JD. Um, a lot of you guys were talking about the coloring, how you love the coloring and how you could get a kind of vintage faded look for your own video so I thought I'd go over that really quickly and it's super easy. So the first thing I did, once I have my timeline in there, um, I'm going to throw up an adjustment layer here. And once I have my adjustment layer up, I'm going to apply a LUT to the uh, whole adjustment layer. So I came in to Lumetri Color and I applied the Lumetri Color effect to the adjustment layer. Once there, um, I, I'm going ahead, I already have a LUT on here, so I'm just going to reapply that. So you'll notice the difference here. Here's the raw footage and then here is the LUT. So you can see it's kind of already this kind of vintage uh, color a little bit and these LUTs were provided by Vintage Color. This is the Maryland LUT under their uh, vintage pack actually. So if I come in here to browse, here's all their vintage LUTs. Um, one of my favorites is Maryland. So I applied the Maryland LUT and that kind of gives a very kind of like burnt orange um, to the highlights. Um, as well as just have it has the contrast taken down a bit and and that's what you want to do for a faded vintage look you want to take down the contrast uh, you don't want it to be very crushed like that that's not a vintage look um, why vintage looks have a more faded look is because the contrast um, is always very uh, low as well as the film grain um, which I will get into in a second how you can add film grain always takes an image to be uh, a little less contrasty. So anyways, one last thing you can do in here. So you can dial in your settings here um, by taking the contrast down um, a bit. And then what you're gonna wanna do is come down to the creative tab. And the creative tab right here under the main basic correction is where I always apply the LUT. And the reason for that is because you can take the intensity of it down. So I can really like, I could have the LUT at 18%, 62%, 100%, 200%. So you can you can play with the intensity of the LUT depending on how strong you want the look to be. But then also right below that, you have this faded film look right here. And so if I drag that up, you can just see how it kind of fades the image. So I always use this pretty much on every single video I do, unless it's a super poppy look video. I don't really use that, but for the most part, I always use this faded film effect. So yeah, I can drag that up. Let's just, for sake, um, drag it up to 20, just, just because. Um, so yeah, you can see now this uh, video color has a very faded look to it here. Here's a good close up. So you can see if I drag it way up to like 65, you can see a heavy fade there. If I drag it way down, the fade kind of goes away. So the faded film's a good way to touch that. Um, so now here I dragged in a 35 millimeter clip film grain. You can get different film grains online from companies like R, R Grain and there's a couple other places. I think Rocket Stock has some, but I need to scale that up a bit to fit the frame because this was 6K footage. And then what you're gonna do with your film grain, you're gonna either select two blend modes. You're either gonna go to overlay or soft light. I like to do soft light. It's a little softer on the grain. You don't see it as much, but it's still there. Um, so you can just go to soft, soft light, and then that adds a small layer of grain over your image as well. And then what you can do is just duplicate that throughout your whole timeline over all your footage. So yeah, I mean, this is essentially a quick way to get a uh, faded look for your guys' videos, films, music videos, whatever it is you guys are shooting. So hopefully that helped. Um, if you guys have any questions about further how to get a faded film look, um, you know, feel free to ask in the comments below. But also just remember, low contrast, some film grain, some faded film, apply a LUT that has some texture to, uh, to be kind of older fashion colors. I um, mean, that's really it. So again, thanks for watching. Any questions, leave a comment below. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. You know what it is. And I'm Jacob Owens for the Buff Nerds. Peace out.